Okay, okay we have a register uh, from Carmacca. Voter turnout across the Rio Grande Valley hasn't been impressive, so for the November election, Action for News teams up with top leaders in the Valley and the state to help our community make their mark on Texas. Texas Secretary of State Esperanza Hope Andrade flew all the way from Austin to encourage the people of the Valley to register to vote. You're dropping off your kids at school. You can stop and vote. It's convenient. It's accessible. It's easy. It, you know, the last time that I voted, it took me five minutes. Alongside the Secretary of State, top election leaders from Star, Hidalgo, Willisie, and Cameron counties, behind the scenes, phones are ringing off the hook. I'm so excited. The phone has not stopped ringing since I walked in. Campaign 2012 has taken over the Action 4 News studio to get you excited to vote. We're getting calls about they don't know whether they're registered to vote. On the website, votetexas.gov, you can check to see if you're registered to vote. They haven't received a registration card. Some of our cards have been delayed. But if they don't have a voter registration card, they can still go in and vote. Viewers from all over are asking questions about how to vote, when to vote, and even how to get a ballot by mail. Many people who called in had never voted before, and there's still time to get your voice heard. The right that we have, and we need to exercise it, and one vote makes a big difference in anywhere in any election. If you have not registered to vote, you still have time. Registration ends October 9th, followed by early voting later this month on October 22nd. After more than 150 calls, dozens of Facebook comments and tweets, tonight's message rang loud and clear. If you want to make a difference, get out there and vote. Veronica Gallegos, Action 4 News.